Welcome, my name is Steve, and let me help with your AFM exam. Do you find AFM exam difficult? I must say so, because advanced financial management not only involves approximately 50% of the marks related to calculations, quite complicated models that need to apply to each and every time in the case scenario, but at the same time, another 50% of the marks related to comment. Now, in order to pass the AFM exam, the normal students will need to do at least 40 past exam questions. Walk through these 40 questions. But I always say to my students, who has time to do so? Because I know that a lot of ACCA students are working adult. So this means that they don't really have time to cover all the bits and pieces like a full-time university student does. So the only reasons that you choose our revision course for the AFM exam is that I can cut your study time a lot. Because what I tend to do, firstly, I created my own Platinum Super Revision Question Pack. Now, instead of walking through all those past exam questions, I would say that drop them just read and to walk through the questions I created for each commonly tested topic in the AFM exam. And of course, each and every time our focus is different. And of course, for the September and the December 2024 AFM exam, what I would do is that question one, I would set a question on interest rate risk management. Now, the style of the question will be very similar to the past exam question. However, I've adjusted quite a lot of content, requirement, and the way the different topics are tested. Because, yes, I agree that what has already come up will continue to be tested in the AFM exam. It's the habit of the examining team. But at the same time, what hasn't come up may be quite possible to come up in the upcoming setting. Question two about the forex and the maximum appraisal, normal maximum appraisal, the WAC. I split that into two circumstances: the business valuation, business finance, dividend policy, and some of the must-know narrative summary. You may say that, well, when I read the content, it's quite normal, but it's not normal at all. Let me take you through to the first questions that I created. The single Question, for example, question one, I've covered all these bits and pieces, including the asset securitization. Have you heard of that before? Well, let's see the style of the questions first. For example, I created a question called Sunset Company, and then creating the FRA, the futures, options, and so on and so forth, and asset securitization. With the following requirements, showing you, okay, bits and bits and pieces. Now, what I would do is that I would take you through to my answer. Now, in my answer, because I know that you choose my course because you want to pass the AFM exam as soon as possible or very quickly. So this is why I need you to learn my pro forma answer. There's a lot of answers, for example, dealing with the hedging style questions, I would use my own mnemonic. So what you need to do is to learn them and to directly slot that in the actual exam. My aim is to help you score more than 50 in this particular paper, as soon as possible, I would say then. So follow my approach, for example, dealing with, let's say, the swap question, for example. The interest rate swaps, combining with the asset securitization, that kind of stuff. And also the interest rate swap question in my part dog, I used a particular step that you may not have seen elsewhere, okay, including in the traditional study test and even the past exam papers. So using my standardized approach, you can solve any of these swap questions and gain the full marks. No worries for that whatsoever. Just to give you a flavour of, uh, for example, uh, the Forex 
okay? Uh, so I will tell you exactly what you need to do, including how you can work out the, the cross rate. So for example, instead of giving you uh, the traditional simple spot rate, however, the examining team may complicate this by not giving you the straight or the direct spot rate, but re require you to calculate the cross rate, okay, before you move any further. So how can you do that? Of course, I will tell you exactly in my course, my own step, okay? Just to give you another uh, summary, I mean, the final chapter is the must-know narrative summary. Instead of talking about all those irrelevant stuff, because I know your time is quite valuable, you need to balance your work and study. So what I want you to do is that you choose our course, and every minute the input will be valuable. You will get the output from it. So for example, related to risk in the AFM question, that it is very, very commonly seen in the actual exam is to how to diversify risks. Now, a lot of students really mess up with the diversification of risks because they would simply deem that diversification risk it's like we need to diversify the uh, systematic or sometimes unsystematic risk. Not sure, so just keep writing. Sometimes students will say diversifying the business and financial risk. No, the actual exam question may ask you when the diversification is effective. Some of the students may not to say that diversification means that we need to have something that is totally different from what we had currently. No. So if you say those in the actual exam, you're treating this exam like the SBA exam. That doesn't really work at all. So make sure you are straight to the point, getting to the point, and making sure that your definition or explanation is concise, and you will score very high in this paper. I will tell you exactly how to do that. Now, not only for that, for these eight questions that I created, I also touch on how you can score the professional marks. Because I know that some of the students will be quite clever, I would say clever indeed. Because in their answer, they're, they're implying to the marker that, okay, my answer, this part, is related to scepticism, please give me marks. My paragraph here is related to the commercial acumen, so please give me marks. No, this is not how the exam rule looks like and works. So make sure that I will walk you through to these questions and to make sure that you're absolutely happy with the approach, absolutely happy with the topic here, because you must know that covering the whole syllabus is okay, but it's not the most effective way, probably, in passing this paper. This paper is more of the application exam, so this means that you will need to be ready that if you are given the interest rate risk management question, you know all the steps in your mind and you directly first is to set up your pro forma, slot the numbers in and to make some comment and make sure each and every point that you know that this will get marked and this is absolutely important key in passing this paper. So this is why my revision course for the AFM exam would firstly I would like to walk you through to the whole syllabus using my own summary in a few hours. And then I will walk you through to these questions and to make sure that you're absolutely happy with the question style and the required answer by the ACCA AFM exam link team. I've been teaching the AFM for quite a few years. I'm also the examiner for the financial management module in a university. I set actual exam questions to those students, test the lecturers and also the students. I've got marking experience, for example, I'm the uh, current exam marker at ICAS, ISWA, and an other major accountancy body. And of course, with my extensive experience, you will pass the AFM exam in very simple steps and quickly with my help. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.
PPC, accounting for your future.